and welcome to today's lesson, Converting Fractions to Decimals. How we convert a fraction to a decimal is simple. We divide. So let's refresh our memories on how to do long division. Our first step is knowing where to put our numerator and our denominator. Our numerator, in this case, the 1, is going to go inside of the division bar house. The 5, the denominator, is going to go on the outside. We'll follow our pattern of divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and every time that we get to the end, we will start over again with divide. Let's get started. When we're dividing 1 by 5, we're asking, how many groups of 5 are in 1? Well, we know there aren't any, so that's our first step. Our next step is to multiply. So we'll multiply the 0 and the 5, and we end up with 0. Next step is to subtract. So 1 minus 0 will give us 1. And now it's time to bring down. Notice that we don't have anything to bring down right here. So what we're going to do is add a decimal and a 0. I can add a decimal with as many zeros after it as I want to because it doesn't change the value of the number. Remember, $1 and $1 and 0 cents are the same amount of money. So when I add my decimal, it's very important that I make sure that I put my decimal place in my quotient so that I remember that when I'm dividing here that this is 0 in the 1's column, and then I have my decimal place, and my answer will be smaller than 1. Now I'm ready to bring down my 0. So I have to follow through with my same process again. I did divide, multiplied, subtract, and I brought down. So now I'm going to start again with division. So I'm asking myself how many groups of 5 are in 10? And I know that there are exactly two groups. So now I will multiply. 2 times 5 is going to give me 10. My next step is to subtract. 10 minus 10 will give me zero. At the end here, I would bring down, but since my remainder is a zero, I know I am finished and I can stop. So one-fifth is the same thing as the decimal two-tenths, or 0 0.2. Next, let's look at the difference between terminating and repeating decimals. A terminating decimal is a decimal that ends. A repeating decimal has the same number repeating over and over. So an example of a terminating decimal would be 0 0.5 or 5 tenths, 7.9354 or 7 and 9,354 ten thousandths. But the thing that these numbers both have in common is that I can add a zero as the very last place value for both of these because these are terminating decimals. So the decimals stop dividing at some point, the remainder will be zero. That's not true for a repeating decimal. Notice that when I was dividing here, I ended up with 1 times 6 is 6, 10 minus 6 is 4. Then I brought down a 0. And I said 6 times 6 is 36. When I subtracted, I got 4 again. These two 4s are telling me that the same number is going to be repeating in my quotient. There are two different ways I can write this. I can use a repeating bar, or I can use three dots. In the problem, I've used the three dots, but I'll show you both. With using the repeating bar, it's very important to only put the repeating bar over the number that is repeating. Notice how the one did not repeat here. We wrote the one once, and then we ended up just repeating the six. That's what this answer shows. Because you can show the same thing with three dots or three ellipses right after the last number, you need to make sure that you write the number that is repeating at least twice so that you can show that it's not 161616 repeating, it's 166666 repeating. Let's recap. To convert from a, frac a fraction to a decimal, we'll divide. The numerator goes inside the long division sign and the denominator is going to go outside the long division sign. The quotient 
is the decimal form of the fraction. We also learned that terminating and repeating decimals are terminating our decimals that end and repeating decimals can be shown using a repeating bar or the three dots. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the red subscribe button so you'll always have access to this and other lessons. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time.